part of it and like I said like left it off but like, yeah all energy influences people and uh, other beings other sentimental beings animals around us in a positive manner and it's not going to be because they're uh, feeding off our energy none of that, that it won't be that at all because our energy is just going to it's I don't know how, how it works but we're going to be going to make them better <laughs> I'll think of words today folks it's going to make them um, in touch with their own heart centre in touch with their own energy in touch with their own links to their clan that's what that is what's happening now so they're going to try to stop that at any way they can and if they could put somebody in, in your way a lover um, a friend, uh, a boss, anybody that can dump them that. So you're always depressed, you're always anxious, you're always worried. Uh, or send somebody with a narcissistic personality, a sociopath, a psychopath, you know what I mean? They're demons, by the way, the fucking, the demons, let's not fuck about. Anybody that exhibits characteristics like that are demons. In the human form. Let's not mess around with fucking and the psychology was put in place to protect them, like I said with the other um, posts, um psychologists and psychotherapists and the names and the labels and how um, they become to be what they are. Um there's always an excuse, it's, it's something to do with their childhood, it's something I uh, through the jobs I've had and my friendships, okay. Um I know very few people that have lived a child life. I've met very few people that haven't suffered, and I mean suffered, that you they, you get them talking about a subject or they've been going to the club and you know that they're in pain or you know that it was a real um, heartfelt experience. Okay. I was just about to say okay then. Okay. Um, working class, um, just the fact that we're working class and we're having to go from paycheck to paycheck that's a language that's a, that's a struggle that's suffering um very few people in life go through it go through and have a child life with no suffering no pain very few of them literally very few of them will go out come out to be bastards or narcissists or whatever we don't because <laughs> we know the pain even if, if we suffer from it um by the hands of others we know that pain, so we're not going to do it to somebody else. That's the majority of humans on earth. But if you talk to psychologists and psychotherapists and all that lot, um, they will keep that lie going. They might say, listen, and yes, we know you went through this, it's horrible. But you can't be doing this, that and that, or other to another person. And they keep going back, you know, you're 40 years old, mate, or you're 40, or 40 or you're 40 years older than you know what I mean, get a fucking grip. But it's all been put in place, things like that have been put in place so the perpetrators of fucking horrendous crimes never truly get the, the full, uh, they're not held fully accountable for their actions. They're never held fully accountable for their actions, ever. If you watch anything of a criminal, because I like watching crime series and like murderers and mass murders and shit, um, and the, even then, there's always somebody had mother issues or somebody this happened to them, but you know, even though they fucking murdered, fucking heap loads of people, it's always because of something, and it's normally the mother. Okay? And they blame the mother because we are powerful women, um, we just are. Um, and naturally uh, more likely to be linked with a spiritual connection to our ancestors. We're more likely to fucking fight for our babies, for our grandbabies, for our friends, for our partner. When you get a woman that loves you, um, she could be four foot six. Then the budget will be a fucking deadly man. It's a fucking good example. She'd be four foot six and you could be like seven foot eight man. Sizing. But you know what I mean, it could be a big tough man. Some of those brothers will go after a man. Literally, most women will just fucking 
rip the fucking heads off. We are, we, are, we are born to be protectors for a reason, because we are protectors and we have the strength of the protectors. That's why it was blessed to be, to be able to give birth. To be born a female and, and to give birth. I told you last week, you know, I'm blessed to be black woman and working class. Three separate issues of and three different reasons why. And like I said, at this time, at this point in human evolution, to men and females, don't go with a partner because you're lonely, or he says this, or said that, especially if you're getting um, connections and you feel you know you are getting connections because trust me, they will send somebody in to dampen that connection, somebody in to break you, and I do literally mean break you. To stop it from happening. You can hear the creature beast when I'm on the, doing this, can't you? You can hear them. Little fuckers. And if you see them in real life, they'll go, oh, I swear to God. I swear to God. You won't be, uh, I'll just, oh, fuck you now. For the dregs of society. Just because they're doing something absolutely fucking disgusting doesn't make them hard, doesn't make them um, powerful. It just makes them sick. Fucking little individuals who got a pod parcel up for fucking rape and child molestation. That's all they are. And there and now. It's been the last one for tonight. Thank you, family. So, what can I say? Um, I forgot what I have started this fling. Um, but yes. <laughs>